Okay, so we're gonna start with base. Pasensya na naka-on yung electric pan dahil may init. I'm gonna start with my Caradium Pore Blur. This is actually sunscreen, but I use this as base kasi nga medyo full coverage ang ganap ni ate. It, we're gonna go now. At kung napapansin nyo, very ano, parang patak-patak. Yung term kasi nyo sinasabi nyo is patak-patak sa Korean, parang um, shiny or glimmery yung skin ko. I've been using a couple of products lately that is doing wonders for my face that I will be sharing to you on the next few videos. Um, hindi ko lang siya dito sa get ready with me na passport ready look kasi hindi ko siya gustong i-preempt. I'm like hitting my face so hard kasi I'm slapping myself. Ooh. Kung mapansin nyo, yung kalahati ng mukha ko, iba sa itsura ng kalahati. Kasi ito, may instant whitening effect. True ba siya? I actually do this as an extra, extra, extra step. Bakit ako nabubulol? Umaga kasi. <laughs> I do this as an extra, extra step is I rub my hands together. I think a lot of other, a lot of other content creators na medyo nasa K-beauty side, they also do this. And then you just press in the product with your warm hands or you do this I do both like one time I would just like press it in like so other times I would be oh my god because the effect down it is the skin absorbs it more and it just you know makes the skin look bouncier it promotes blood circulation and it's fun. It wakes me up in the morning. Okay, so we're done with you know the base. Now I'm not gonna go with my face makeup first, you know, foundation and stuff. I'm gonna go with my brows because I'm a Nisha Kaaya. I'm gonna be using a brow gel today for this look because I'm a Ayoko ng powder or pencil or gel kasi feeling ko masyado siyang hard for the camera. I'm gonna use a gel. This is from Fashion 21 if I remember it correctly. And this is in light brown which is not really my color but it works for me. Kasi medyo naglalighten yung buhok ko so I use this just to you know make my brows look uniform. And my sparks area kasi ako sa brows. Kaya, ito yung ginagamit ko. Para at least wag mukhang may buho. I want my brows to look really, really thick. Like, hindi ko siya inaayos. Which is weird because I should really keep them, like, in shape. Pero ako, I prefer my brows to just be the way they are. I just brush them up and out. So at least naman hindi sila ganun ka unruly. Yeah. Next, we're gonna go with the eye area. I'm gonna be using this palette from Everblend. This is the brown palette. Um, someone messed up my palette. This has been a palette of mine for about a year or so. Um, but it still works. It's very pigmented. I do like it. That's why I still keep using it. Okay, I'm gonna use a very, very tapered brush. And I'm just going to define my eyes so that it doesn't look flat as a picture. And I'm gonna be using this shade right here. And this is only the application. This is not like, ganito na siya, as is na siya. Just put this here. And I'm gonna blend it with another brush later on. Remember girls, when you're doing your makeup for a picture, like an ID or something, make sure your eyes are not flat on the picture. Kasi may mga girls katulad ko, when I take pictures, sometimes my eyes look not symmetric. Like one eye is bigger than the other. So you do a little bit of a magic with makeup. Like, you know, apply eyeliner a bit longer here so it would go, you know, as um, asymmetric or symmetric. So it's, you know, to one another. Kasi, ako talaga pa nagpapapicture ko ng mga ID picture. 
Pinig ko isang mata ko kaya. Ayun mo yun. If I can show you one of my oldest pictures, unfortunately, I lost that ID. It's just not okay. I'm just putting a bit of the powder underneath my eyes so hindi naman siya mukhang pop heavy pantay pa rin and it's sort of like a daytime smoky look pero very very soft lang yung pagka smoky niya next we're gonna go with a blending brush just to blend out the harsh lines dun sa eyeshadow na nilagay natin kanina We're gonna go to mascara and of course my favorite mascara I'm gonna curl my lashes first and then apply mascara the mascara I'm using is the hyper curl mascara volume express waterproof and Maybelline sobrang paborito ko to ever since I discovered it I was like girl with foundation finally um, foundation I'm gonna be using right now is another one from Maybelline this is the clear smooth all-in-one shine free cake powder and this is in the shade I don't shade my body girl nude beige actually na this the reason why I use powder foundation is that hindi ko, parang at this time of the year medyo malamig kasi malamig pa kasi yung klima so Ako, hindi ko bet yung, ano, yung liquid talaga. I go for powder. Kasi mas tumatagal siya sa face ko. Kasi oily combinations din ako. So, I got go for powder. And I just go at it like it's like the last day of my life. Dapat nga, kanina ko pag ginawa tong foundation. Pero mas inuna ko talaga yung eyes. Kasi I take so long doing my eyes. Kahit na ang simple-simple nung look. I, I really blend it out. I really do like everything in my power. I'm gonna be okay yung look. And seamless ang look. Kasi 10 years ko, 10 years yung passport ko, diba? 10 years yung validity na pag mukha kong tsaka, nako, 10 years na ganun yun, hindi ko pwede pakalitan. Okay, now we're gonna go to blush. I'm not gonna do any contouring in this video because number one, I'm not really an expert in contouring and number two I just really want and I'm gonna do like the physical illusion of a slimmer face I'm gonna show you that in a while so we're gonna go with blush and the blush I'm gonna be using is from the ever banana lip and cheek tint and this is in red to go ito yung isang lip tint na sobrang pang ano lang dalagang pilipina yun lang yung peg look natin today Kailangan lang mabilis ako dahil mabilis daw itong mag-set. Although, hindi naman siya ganun kabilis mag-set sa akin. Pero kailangan natin bilisan. Mahirap na. Lal lalabas sa picture to 10 years kaya bago ako magpalit. Or, or, alam mo yun, if in case I break or I break, if in case masira or madamage yung passport ko, which I don't want to happen, this is will be the picture that people will see at the airport. Yeah. Oo nga pala, kung magpapag magpapagawa kayo ng passport, ang makeup look lang po na kailangan nyo i-present ay ang dalaga Pilipina look. Kasi talagang no red lipstick, no loud makeup, um, very simple look. Kasi kung ano yung itsura mo in real life, in person, dapat yun yun yung lalabas sa passport. Which... Girl, hindi naman lahat ng tao, diba? Maganda talaga ang balat. Kaya may konting magic. So, we are going to now go to the lip part of this look. And I'm using Pixie's uh, Pang Cream Lipstick. I forgot what range this was in and the color name kasi nabura siya. But this is like a nude pink color which I really like. To use on pictures because it practices really well, really good.
it's like a very pink color but it adjusts well to your lips and there yeah that's basically it and this is really really quick i hope you guys understand and you guys like this video if you guys have any questions go to the comment section like this video share it to your friends and of course don't forget to follow me on my social network accounts facebook twitter instagram your girl has to go i have to prepare to go to the dfa because my have an appointment call but i hope you guys have a wonderful and amazing day ahead and i'll see you soon okay bye